DSG models uh, can be applied to emerging markets. Indeed, they've been applied big time to emerging markets. Uh, if we look in the 1990s, we had all kinds of crises. We had the Asian financial crisis. We had various crises in uh, Latin America. We had the Russian crisis, lots of crises. And these models were used very heavily uh, to think about those crises. In fact, there's a couple of very important applications for DSGE models. One of them has to do with the fact for emerging markets. So one of them has to do with the fact that in the last few years, interest rates have been kept pretty low in the United States. And many emerging markets have taken advantage of that, or non-financial firms in many emerging markets have taken advantage of that to borrow a lot in dollars. And now we're in a situation where there's a possibility that the dollar interest rate is going to go up, and there's a concern that all these emerging markets with dollar debt are going to, the people who owe that debt are going to go bankrupt and suffer all kinds of problems and drag the emerging markets down. Well, now you have a problem because this is a very negative effect. If you have a firm in Brazil that has to go bankrupt because it owes uh, a, a lot of dollars and the exchange rate is depreciated, then that's a negative effect for Brazil. On the other hand, when the exchange rate depreciates, it makes exports from Brazil uh, stronger. So to think about what the meaning of U.S. raising its interest rates and possibly Brazil having an exchange rate depreciation, you have to weigh off these two countervailing effects. And the only way, these are quantitative things, these are quantitative forces, very much like in meteorology. You have a, a force coming, a wind going that way, an ocean current going that way, and exactly what the outcome is going to be is going to depend on the strength of the two forces. The only way to work those forces out is through a DSGE model. Now, there's a second example, too. A lot of emerging markets have uh, uh, suffered the, from the fall in commodity prices. And then there's a big question. The governments are being financed by commodity uh, revenues. Uh, a lot of people are working on the commodity uh, uh, sector. Um, when commodity prices go down, what should we do? Should we increase spending? Should we cut in? What, what exactly should we do? Well, there's a lot of balls to juggle in thinking about that question. And only in a DSGE model can you integrate all those balls and think about this in, uh, in, in one, one context.